Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user said, Hey, how can you make a wood screw in Tinkercad? I did some playing, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so this is version one, and I wasn't real happy with it, but let me show you what I did. First, I'm going to do Control D to duplicate it, and then let's ungroup and see what it's built of. This one is obviously the half sphere, a couple of rectangles to make it a Phillips head. This is a cone, and then this guy right here is the thread. Now I'm going to ungroup them and I'm going to show you what I did with this thread to make it more like what you'd find on a wood screw. Alright friends, so this is a fancy cone I made so that it would cut it at an angle. Notice how this starts skinnier and gets wider. If you ungroup it, it's obviously cone 1 and cone 2 where cone 2 is a group. When you combine those, you get the shape that you need and then I turned it into a hole after I built it. This is called the screw threads. And let me show you where you can find it. Now to make my life easier, I like to go to 80%. When I click on the all shapes, I can see these numbers down here at the bottom easier. If I have my screen full screen, I don't get to. And this screw thread is all the way out here on page 15. When you bring one in, it looks like this. And then I had to change the measurements to get the design that I wanted. So right now, friends, I'm going to walk you through this and I'm going to build my next version. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a favorite so that it's easier to find later. And then I'm going to go back to basic shapes. And instead of a cone, I want to start with a cylinder. I'm choosing to make my screw three millimeters thick. So I'm going to hold down shift and squeeze it down a little. I'm going to type the number three. And then I have decided I want it to be about 15 millimeters tall. So instead of this sloped shape, I've got a straight shape. I do want to make sure it's round, so I'm going to go 64. I'm not going to do a bevel, but I do want to add a point to it. I'm going to do this upside down for a moment, and I'll show you why. When I bring out this cone, it just is a little easier to think. The base, I know, has a radius of 1.5. If you're doing some math with me, friends, if I made the cylinder 3, that means its radius is 1.5. I'm going to keep the top radius as zero, and then I'm going to change the height to two and take a peek at it. I don't like that. I'm going to try four. I do think that is more like what you would see on a screw. So now from the top, and I can even hit the top so that it's more easy to grab, I'm going to take those two shapes, click a line. I'm going to make the orange one the master and choose center and center. Let's look at it from a corner. Also, you can right click drag. I'm going to put the work plane back to the ground and friends, that's the screw tip. Now that I've got it the way I want, I'm going to use flip to stand it the way I want. So just like that, I've taken my screw and I've got this part built. So now let's go to the threads. It starts with 18, 20 and one. Those are huge numbers. I am going to try point two and press enter. Give it time to render so you can see what you just made. I am going to try an outer radius of five and I'm going to try an inner thread height of 0.5. So now this is starting to get similar to the thread I had over here. I am going to choose four turns so that way it goes around more often. I'm going to leave the sides per turn at 64 and I want the total height to only be 14. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so it's really wide on the outer thread height. So I'm gonna change that instead to instead of two to point one and see what I think. That is much more like what I was thinking of. It might be too thin though, so I'm gonna try point two. And then I'm going to align it, making that orange the middle and I like that, but I need to raise it up. I am just going to use the orange handle to raise it up. And then I need to slice it again. I am going to take my other one and I'm going to double click it. So I'm editing. And then on the second one, it currently has a base radius of three. I'm going to try a base radius of two. When I click here, then it becomes permanent and let's get all of those aligned. Once again, I'm hitting a line after the three are selected, making my orange one the master and doing center center. I'm going to double click this one more time because I think that's too wide. 
and then I'm gonna take that hole, I'm gonna go to that top radius and make it four. So it goes from four to two. When we click, you can see that's gonna slice it off pretty cool. I'm gonna hit group and friends, after a moment's wait, we have got the tip of a screw and the threads. Real quickly, I'm gonna use Control D to make a copy of this, hit work plane, and then I'm gonna drop it to that height and bring the pieces over. Last but not least, let's click a line. Once again, I'm gonna keep with that orange one being the master and do center and center. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, steps to make a tiny little wood screw. I don't know for sure if it'll work. I do know that if I were printing it, I would print it upside down. And I would also print this one with raft. You can see here, I've got an issue that it's not long enough. So real quickly, let's ungroup and then click on the purple piece and ungroup again. And then I'm gonna hide this really quick. And then let's change the total height to 16 and see if that solves it. What I did was I forgot to add this point when I was doing my math. Now it connects where it's supposed to. Let's do show all to bring the parts back. Once again, all I wanna do is group those two pieces. Notice it says two shapes and group. And now we can take our whole part and regroup it and it's ready for 3D printing. Friends, of course, if you find some cool use for this, I would love to hear about it. You can always find me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also track me down on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Also, friends, don't forget, if you visit HLModTech.com, you can go down here to the messaging app and reach out to me almost instantly. Huge shout out to Rich. I hope your fishing trip's going well. And friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.